The violence on the north side this weekend resulted in the deaths of two innocent bystanders. Both were, both were mothers just trying to get home. KDK's Megan Schiller continues our team coverage now. This is that bus shelter where those two innocent women were standing Saturday night. It's busy at all hours of the day, but now it's marked with this tape. Just one of the bullet holes police found that night. Bullets started flying Saturday night through this busy north side intersection. Two innocent mothers were caught in the crossfire. I think it was a very tragic incident without a doubt. You know, two innocent people standing here waiting on the bus to go home from my understanding and they get shot. Bubba Thornton's lived on the north side his whole life and he knows the women sitting here this weekend didn't make it home. It's kind of weird to be sitting here without a doubt where this tragic event occurred without a doubt. But hey, you got to get to where you got to go and you got to um, be a little braver sometimes than things that are happening around you. Pittsburgh police identified the first victim as 33-year-old Jacqueline Mihalik. They rushed the mother of four to Allegheny General, but she didn't make it. And 59-year-old Betty Averett, a mother and grandmother known by many as Miss Betty, died at the bus stop. Police believe a fight started in the nearby gas station parking lot and shots rang out with bullets flying between the gas station and a nearby park. The bus shelter sits right in the middle. I have heard of them in the community. I heard they were both wonderful people from what I've heard. You know what I mean? But, you know, like I said, sometimes you got to have more faith than fear. And there are several bus stops here, a gas station, a busy grocery store, a park. So police are asking if anyone saw anything or has any information to please come forward. Reporting on the north side tonight, Megan Schiller, KDK News.